I am Anil Kumal and here is a very tricky question on inverse of the function. Normally you will see a question like this in your test paper. The question here is find inverse of the function f of x equals to minus square root of x plus 1 minus 2. State domain and range of f inverse. Now square root functions inverse will be like a parabola. right? Remember that part. Let's begin uh, the process of finding inverse. So the steps involved are, as you know, we have to swap x and y and then isolate y. So those are the steps involved. So what we have to do here is uh, we have to interchange x and y and then solve for y. So these are the steps to find inverse of the function, right? So let's do it. So once you do it, you get this as x and this becomes y minus square root of y plus 1 square root minus 2. Now easy way to do is take to this side so x plus 2 equals to minus square root of y plus 1 and now at this stage we'll do square both sides. So we get x plus 2 whole square and when you square this side you get minus y plus 1 square. So basically what you see is x plus 2 whole square equals 2 y plus 1 because this minus becomes positive and you're left with y plus 1 and that results into taking one this side as minus 1 and this is plus x plus 2 whole square right is y and then you can write that let me write it on the right side okay so let me complete it here and then I'll take the function on this side. So here you can write that f inverse, which is y, is equals to x plus 2 whole square minus 1. So that is the inverse of the function. Now my question to you is, is that the right answer? Is that the right answer? Think about it. If I start from a parabola, it is kind of a function which is like this right so so inverse of this will be a function which is kind of like this it has two arms one positive one negative but we are only given the negative arm that is to say that we are given only this half so that means that from the parabola it should have been that half not the whole parabola right so that indicates that there is something wrong so how do we correct it? This is very, very important to understand. And now in this video, let us understand that part. Let us analyze the function itself. The function is f of x equals to minus square root of x plus 1 minus 2. Now what is the domain and range of this function? So this is our function, right? So, so this value, what is the domain and range of this function? One way is you could kind of sketch it, right? and then easily find domain and range. Uh, it indicates that the square root part is always positive. Negative means you reflect it. And here it means you moved to one unit to the left. So let's start again. Square root of x is kind of going like this. Plus one, move here. Minus, outside means downwards. And minus two, two steps down. So kind of like this is your function. Do you see that? Right? This value is minus 1 and this value is minus 2. Two steps down. So that is the function f of x. This is f of x. And from here you could write domain of this function as x is less than equal to minus 1 and the range y is greater than, rather, I should say less than equal to minus 2. Is that okay? So that is the detail about the function. Now if that is the case for the function, what will be the inverse function, domain and range? For inverse function, domain and range will swap. So the domain of that function will be what was the range, right? So it would be x less than equals to minus 2. As far as the range is concerned, range will be the domain of the function, which will be y is less than equals to minus 1. This is because these two functions are inverse of one another, right? So they have to be 
reflect it on the line y equals to x, you have to swap x and y. Perfect. So what does that say? That really says that inverse of the function f inverse is equals to what you got x plus 2 whole square minus 1 but in this case the domain should be restricted and we have to consider the domain x which is less than equals to minus 2 so that is the result this is the result of that domain so therefore the answer which we are getting now is just the right answer for the given question so you have to add this restriction to get perfect answer if you write that it is going to be incorrect so you lose a lot of marks this is not the inverse of that function that is the inverse of this function you have to include this restriction on the domain to get the right answer i hope this concept is absolutely clear i'm anil kumar and if you like you can put a like always share and subscribe thank you and all the best